All right, fantastic. Okay, everyone, love and light all around. Uh, I am here for the music portion of International Children's Month Global Day of Action. And I'm here with the fabulous Rick Olfick, <laughs> who is a piano player. Dun, da, da, da. Who knew, right? I knew, and some of us knew. The popular music scene in New York City knows. So now the rest of the world is going to know too. Rick, how long <laughs> have you been playing piano for, brother? Oh my God. Well, I've been playing since I was four, mm -hmm. which is not that long ago, actually, oh, in, the, yeah. in the cosmic scheme of things. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but yeah. uh, And you've played with some pretty big folk in the past too, right? Uh, yeah. The all, this is all before I started We the World, right. which was 1998. But back in the 80s, the 70s and the 80s, I was doing music full time. And... Uh, you know, I had my own uh, recording studio, uh, music production company. So I was doing music for TV and film and uh, ABC specials, NBC, CBS, um, the Olympics, um, all, all kinds of stuff. And yes, I, so I've performed, I'm on an early album with Queen Latifah. I did a, a gig with uh, Carlos Santana at the Beacon Theater um work with phoebe snow and maureen mcgovern and uh i played with bernadette peters you know she's a like a broadway uh musical uh actress and i played with her and a few other people on the david letterman show and um you know just a bunch of oh, judy collins i'm an, uh, on an album with uh, judy collins so love i love it and so you're going to play something for us today. Uh, sure. I'll What's play, that? I'll play, I'll do like in a little improv for the moment for, for the global wave of love, which is about to, to happen. Well, actually it's already happening in every time zone, right? It is. It started last night. Bob sent me a message last night. Mm -hmm. he was about seven. So, so we will, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a little improv and I'll lead into a piece um, that uh, was inspired by the, the cloisters. People who know New York City know that the cloisters, it's this beautiful medieval museum and it's very peaceful and they, they have all these interesting things happening there. And I grew up in the, on um, Washington Heights and in Inwood in, in Manhattan. And when I was a kid, it was like a refuge to go into the cloisters to get peace and and get away from everything. So I'll do my little improv and lead into Wonderful. my piece called The Cloisters. Thank you. 
Okay. That was lovely. Thank you, Rick. I'm like, <laughs> restoration. The cloisters. The cloisters. Yeah, I appreciate your your playing and your skill level. It's amazing. And as the director of We the World, it's really about the heart and putting the heart in the center and building a world that works for all. We've been exploring all day and that's your life's mission, really, right? It, for the, it is. It has become. And it. it. Has, so definitely. tell me, what, um, what inspired you to explore building a world that works for all? Right. Well, you know, it probably comes out of the idea that music is a universal language, right? Yeah. In a sense, um, music is probably one of the foundational parts of this idea of we and we consciousness that we always talk about and we the world. Um, you can um, do music for yourself and that's beautiful, but ultimately it's like something to share and um, and people adding their voices together. I mean, that's what it's going to take to create the, a, a world that works for all, right? When, when all of the voices that want to uh, have a, a better world come together, then they can create that world. Right. And that's, that's exactly what we're doing with We the World. Um, and if people are interested in learning more about that, they can go to we.net, the easiest web address to remember, probably. Mm -hmm. that's short and sweet, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, and when, just in time, because we've got the 11 Days of Global Unity coming up in September. Exactly. And to find a campaign for themselves to be empowered and impassioned and share their voices and their talents in is what we are asking people to bring to the table, right? Exactly. And, and, you know, the whole um, International Children's Month and the Global Wave of, of Love for Children is uh, one, it's part of and celebrated by one of the 11 campaigns that We the World has. So, uh, you know, our campaigns in, include things like um, uh, in, environment, human rights, uh, economic justice, but also children and youth. So that's a very important aspect of creating uh, transformation is to empower young people mm -hmm. to uh, take action in their own ways and be a voice sometimes that, that the adults can't ignore, yes. right? Yes, yes, when you hear it from a child, it definitely hits in a different spot than anywhere else, that's for sure. Yeah, I want to thank you for understanding collaboration, how to catch balls, proverbial balls of, you know, missions and purpose and, and how to work together um, as a team, you know, and how to appreciate people's unique gifts and talents. I think that that's been one we've, we've learned and had to rise to the occasion. And I appreciate the fact that you've understood that for quite some time and that you were able to uh, collaborate and work with International Children's Month like in a in a beautiful way in a graceful beautiful way we have always had a wonderful working relationship appreciating and respecting each other and all the people that come in and out and around you know how it is in a sandbox sure. a big sandbox of life Exactly. And, um, and we really appreciate it. And the children appreciate it. You know, our panel before this was with the children from all over the world that wanted to step up and share their voices today. And they look so amazing. beautiful. Yeah, they did a great job. And this is what they're asking. They're asking for grownups and for adults to join them because they care and they want to do it. So maybe we can put That's a call out today for people to literally join International Children's Month and We the World with their children. You know, just take them by the hand and show them the way and show them that there are people here who are standing for love and and truth and reconciliation and justice and taking care of things and that we care about what they care about. And, um, and then the bullies out there will see what it looks like to work together. 
And I think that's the best thing we can do is just show people what it looks like to work together. And Rick is a, a perfect example of, of knowing how to work together. And his partner, uh, Steffi, is wonderful also. She really knows how to be a team player too, yeah? It takes oh, a lot. Yeah. It takes our, our families working with us, you know? My own children exactly. are busy doing other things with people today so that I can do this with other people's children and with other people to help show the world how we do it, right? If they don't get to see it, then they don't know. So share it, these simple things out to people, yes? And let yeah, them... and it's it's about expanding our even our conception of, of family too. Because uh, what I've noticed um, is all, all these groups that are working for a better world and coming together for unity, um, peace, uh, and transformation, all of these groups, at a certain point, I've noticed, and I, I certainly noticed this with the We the World team, the what we call the We team, mm -hmm. um, that at a certain point, we went from being a team to being a family, where yeah. people actually care about each other, even if they haven't met because they live in different parts of the world. Right. You know, like when one person has some issues, some problems going on. Right. Um, our dear friend Angel, her husband has some health issues and Angel has been in, you know, involved with so many aspects of all the different campaigns and everything that we're doing and Trends Magazine and you know, all these things. And, and when she had to really help uh, you know, help her husband to, you know, because he was in an emergency situation, uh, other people stepped up to, to actually help. And uh, they didn't even blink. It was just like, you know, automatic to, uh, to, to do that. And that's part of that sort of we consciousness in a sense, starting from, from within, starting from home, so to speak, our, our 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 team, our mm -hmm. our family. So and and it's and it's a it's a concept that that uh, others are starting to understand, you know, because we're coming through this pandemic. You right. know, there there are different a lot of different perspectives. Yeah, there are different stages of yeah. coming. Some are coming out of it if there's a a point, you know, where it's subsiding in their communities and some are still in the middle of it um, so but the the point is that it it, it makes it uh, possible for people to understand the core of we consciousness because if there's one person in the community who had COVID-19 then the whole community realized that they were in danger right. and um, and that became you know, a symbol for understanding that uh, we either stand together or we we die together. Right? Yeah, no kidding, right? Oh my gosh, very black and white. Very, very yeah. no gray area on that one. <laughs> it was like, take good care out there and take care of each other, right? Oh my right. gosh, Incredible. and it's it's a it's it's a lesson that's still, you know being learned but but it's it's such an important one and of course we would like to see a time where if one person in a community is homeless then that would be considered an, an endanger an endangerment to the community or one if one person is being discriminated against then that's a danger to the survival of the the com community yeah and uh, you can just go down the line and that's really the essence of we consciousness. It's like where the health and well-being of each and every member of society is considered essential to the the health and well-being of the entire society. Mm -hmm. And that includes more, not just humans, but also animals, plants, um, the whole uh, web of life, really, for, for our planet. Absolutely, a thousand percent. I have a song 
that I was going to share today off my new record. Do you want to stick around and hear that song, Rick? I'd love to, sure. I'm going to play it out of Dropbox because my partner in crime with it didn't, you know, he's a mixaholic, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> he's a mixaholic. Oh, wait, did I make it? Do I have to, I have to push buttons on here. Yeah, you have to, that. you have to make sure you're sharing oh, computer share audio. Sound. All right, here we go. I hope that you guys like it because I'm so happy with everything going on. <laughs> I'm like, so I have this new band and I have this new new record that we're going to release in, I think, July. So here you go, guys. Here we are.
there it is. <laughs> that was beautiful. Wow. You like it? Bravo. You like the vibe? I think it's a, a hit, especially coming out of the pandemic, like we we're oh saying. Oh my gosh. Thank I God know. that we're here. That we're still here. <laughs> we're still here and we're grateful and we're ready to love more. Shine on. It's like, oh, oh my God. And every song on this record, man, I'll tell you what, it's killer. It's good stuff. It's great, great. Oh nice God. driving tracks yeah. and, and, I, and nice harmonies also. Yeah, thanks. I know we're doing like a Fleetwood Mac thing. So yeah, we're exactly. Writing off songs and doing backing vocals with each other. So our band name, just so everybody knows, is From the Stars, and the <laughs> new album is called What's it called? Technicolor. Oh, okay. It's called Technicolor. Okay. So I was happy to share it here with my friends on Facebook first because you know we've been through a lot together. <laughs> yep. And uh, this is fabulous. Oh my gosh. So I'm so excited. So thanks for sharing with in the little debut there. So we debuted Rick as a piano player yeah. to everybody who didn't know. <laughs> and we debuted my new band. So I'm so grateful for everything. Rick, thanks for the beautiful music and for We the World and for supporting International Children's Month. Sure. There's so much great stuff going on. There uh, Interna International Children's Month. Uh, we also in June, um, we the, we have the uh, the hundred day countdown to the International Day of Peace. Yep. Um, and we're going to hear about that later. You you me and uh, Monica Willard, Monica right? Willard. Um, uh, later today around um, six Eastern. Yep. Uh, we're going to talk about peace building and mm -hmm. uh, for the children of the world and and all of that because Monica is doing. So many amazing things. Yeah. And some more of that, just sharing the embodiment. You know, mm -hmm. these people are everyday people who just decided to take a stand for what matters to them. And that's it. That's it. Exactly. That's all there is to it. That's and and we have the uh, three month countdown to 11 days of global unity. So yeah. June, we have these uh, like sort of three, three month or seasonal waves, you know, like we had yeah. Earth Month in the... Uh, in March, starting on the equinox, going to uh, April 22nd, the you know Earth Day, and then June with International Children's Month and World Unity Week and International uh, Global uh, what do you call it? Yoga Day? Oh yeah. Um, and uh, the hundred day countdown to the International Day of day, Peace. Everybody. And then so we we have all these things happening. So we do. We it's, invite it's everyone. Not to, ending. It just keeps chugging yeah. along. And it's like, okay, let's all do the cha cha together now, please. Makes exactly. for a lovely dance number when everybody's it, in the house. Awesome. Exactly. So um, please ch check out all the different things that are happening uh, at we dot net, and you'll see there the uh, global wave of love is featured on there along with. Uh, World Unity Week and all the different things that that we're doing uh, in the next few days for that too. Such a beautiful thing. Thank you, Rick. Honoring you this day and much love and many blessings, my friend. Thanks for coming on and giving us.